Hi everyone, welcome back to Steamflow. We've got a pretty stacked lineup of Steam news this week. A big UI overhaul just went live for store pages. The SteamOS beta client got some key fixes. The Steam Animal Fest event is running this week with tons of cozy creature games and Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 just hit its lowest price ever. And yes, it plays pretty great on the Steam Deck. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So first up, Steam store pages are now officially wider. If you've been in the beta client since August, you've already seen it. But for everyone else, this week's update moves the new 1200 pixel layout out of beta and makes it fully public across the platform. So what's actually changed? Now, game store pages use more of your monitor spaces, jumping from 940 pixels wide to 1200. The video player and screenshot carousel were overhauled, and you can now toggle between default, theater, and full screen modes with better autoplay and audio controls. Since the layout is now wider, screenshots and trailers now show higher resolution imagery. The About This Game section got upgraded to allowing devs to use bigger visuals and richer formatting. Even background artwork is more visible, letting each game page reflect its art style a bit more. Beyond game pages, other parts of the store are also widened, search results, bundle pages, the interactive recommender, Steam charts, and even the news hub are all now consistent with the 1200 pixel standard. So why 1200 pixels? Valve says it's the sweet spot between visibility and readability. Even though a lot of people have 4K monitors, most people don't run Steam full screen. So this new layout keeps the clean without overwhelming the page and don't worry about the steam deck the pages are responsive the design automatically scales for smaller screens including tablets and handhelds valve even joked that they tested this on an old ipod and that it still works it's not flashy but it's one of those subtle updates that makes steam feel fresher and smooth for steam deck users it means slightly cleaner navigation and improved touch targets when browsing the store but keep in mind the store page on steam deck is still just a wrapped up web page next up a small but important update for steam deck owners on the beta branch on november 7 valve pushed a new steam os beta client update and then re-released it uh, shortly after with uh, extra desktop mode fixes this was actually new you can now report Support suspicious or harassing one-on-one -on -one chat messages directly from the chat window using the options menu. I previously talked about this, Steam will now let you know if a chat message is suspicious and you can now also block or unfriend the user right there while reporting. In desktop mode, Valve fixed a bug where the system could immediately go back to sleep after waking up, which is a pretty annoying issue for anyone docking or using the deck as a mini PC. These updates might seem small, but they're part of Valve's ongoing cleanup for both desktop and game mode, improving the safety and stability for SteamOS. And there might be some wishful thinking here, but I'm hoping that these cleanups and these small updates just mean that Valve is getting ready to release SteamOS 3.0 for everyone and not just for handhelds. Now, if you're on the preview or better channels, always watch out for any issues you might encounter with decky plugins as these updates tend to break them. Now let's talk about something a little more fun, the Steam Animal Fest. Running from November 10th through 17th, Animal Fest is a themed sale celebrating games about animals from cozy pet sims to wildlife adventure, survival titles and quirky creature games. You can expect discounts across hundreds of titles, games like Untitled Goose Game, Coat of the Lamp, Spirit of the North 2, Planet Zoo, Tailside, and plenty more are being featured. The deals themselves are pretty solid, and there's also demos for upcoming games. If you're a deck owner, I think this is a great event to browse. Cozy games and animal titles tend to run beautifully on the Steam Deck. They're lightweight, controller friendly, and battery efficient. I think they're perfect for chill sessions. And finally, a deal worth spotlighting Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is currently 40% off, dropping to 35.99 euros, which is its lowest price yet. It's gonna be at that price for two more days. If you skip the first one, the sequel continues Warhorse Studios' grounded medieval RPG. No dragons, no fantasy tropes, just authentic combat, detailed armor system, and historically inspired storytelling. Performance-wise, I covered this on the Steam Deck, it runs fairly well. You need to tweak settings to low and medium and cap the FPS to 40, but once tuned, it's a great handheld experience for an open world RPG. And battery life will hover at around two and a half to three hours on the OLED. I'll link to my video review in the description. If you're looking for a MIDI story-driven RPG that actually feels immersive on the Steam Deck, 
I think this is a strong buy, especially at this price point. So a pretty solid week overall so far with a good mix of nice updates, great sale event and player deals. If you notice any quirks on the new store layout on the Steam Deck or if you're checking the Animal Fest and find something that runs great, drop it in the comments, I'd love to check some out. And if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, it really helps support the channel. Subscribe for more Steam and Steam Deck content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.